Mr. Akshay Suvade. Today, we will study governance. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, students will be able to examine the stability and sensitiveness of the governor, analyze and identify the various terms in governor. The content of this session is stability of governor, isochronous governor, hunting governor, sensitiveness of governor, controlling force diagram and references. So stability of governor when for every speed within the working range there is definite configuration that is there is a only one radius of rotation of the balls at which governor is in equilibrium that is known as stability of governor. For a stable governor, if the equilibrium speed increases, the radius of rotation of the ball must also increases. For unstable governor, if the radius of rotation decreases as the speed increases, that is nothing but unstable governor. Isochronous governor. A governor is said to be isochronous when the equilibrium speed is constant for all radius of rotation of the balls within the working range neglecting the friction. That is known as isochronous governor. Now let us consider a Porter governor in which minimum and maximum equilibrium speed is given as shown in the presentation. So n1 square is equal to m plus m by 2 into 1 plus q divided by m into 895 divided by h1 and similarly n2 square will be equal to m plus capital M divided by 2 into 1 plus q divided by m into 895 divided by h2. Now think for a while if the equilibrium speed is constant for all radius of rotation of the balls, what will be the effect on the height of the governor? So if the equilibrium speed is constant for all radius of rotation, then the range of the speed that is n2 minus n1 will be equal to 0 or in other words n2 is equal to n1 and from above these two equation we will get h1 is equal to h2 which is impossible in case of Porter governor and hence the Porter governor cannot be a isochronous governor. In case of Hartnell governor running at a speed of n1 and n2 rpm we have mg plus s1 is equal to 2 times fc1 into x1 x divided by y is equal to 2 times m in bracket 2 pi n upon 60 bracket square into r1 multiplied by x by y and similarly for highest equilibrium speed mg plus s2 is equal to 2 times fc2 into x by y is equal to 2 times m multiplied by 2 pi n upon 60 bracket square into r2 multiplied by x upon y. So from these two equation for isochronous governor n2 will be n1, n2 is equal to n1 and therefore from above two equation we get mg plus s1 divided by mg plus s2 is equal to r1 divided by r2 and from above equation isochronous governor is not a practical case because the sleeve moves to one of its extreme position immediately if the speed deviates from isochronous speed. Hunting of the governor 
a governor is said to be hunt if the speed of the engine fluctuates continuously above or below the mean speed of the engine it is caused by two sensitive governor which changes the fuel supply by a large amount when a small change in speed of rotation take place let us consider the example load on the engine increases the speed of the engine decreases if your governor is too sensitive then the sleeve falls to its lowest position as a result of this the throttle wall gets open widely and large amount of fuel is supplied to the engine as compared to its requirement this results in increase in the speed rapidly due to increase in the speed the sleeve rises to its highest position and therefore which will results in cutting down the supply of working fluid to the engine of hunting of governor either governor admits large amount of working fuel to the engine or it will cut down the supply of working fluid to the engine that is called as hunting of a governor sensitiveness of governor if we consider two governors a and b running at same speed when this speed increases or decreases by certain amount the lift of a is greater than b then governor a is more sensitive than b generally greater the lift of the sleeve corresponding to fractional change in the speed the greater the sensitiveness of the governor or in other word sensitiveness of the governor is defined as ratio of difference between maximum and minimum equilibrium speed to the mean equilibrium speed of the governor where n1 and n2 are the minimum and maximum equilibrium speed n is the mean equilibrium speed which is equal to n1 plus n2 divided by 2 and therefore sensitiveness of the governor is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by n again which is equal to n2 minus n1 multiply by 2 divided by n2 plus n1 controlling force diagram when a body revolves in a circular path there is an inward radial force or centripetal force acting on it when a governor is running at a steady speed the inward force acting on the rotating ball is known as controlling force it is equal and opposite to the centrifugal force which is given by fc is equal to mr omega square controlling force is provided by weight of the sleeve and ball in case of porter governor when the graph between controlling force and the radius of rotation of the ball is drawn is called as controlling force diagram this diagram enables the stability and the sensitiveness of the governor to be examined so the figure shows the controlling force diagram for a porter governor so in case of porter governor the centrifugal force acting on the ball fc is equal to m r omega square put the value of omega 2 pi n by 60 and therefore we will get n square is equal to 1 upon m multiply by 60 upon 2 pi bracket square multiply by fc upon r where from the diagram fc upon r is nothing but tan phi and therefore putting the value of fc upon r is equal to tan phi n is equal to tan phi divided by m bracket raised to half multiply by 60 upon 2 pi 
where phi is the angle between the radius of rotation and the line joining the given point on the curve on the origin O. A governor satisfying the condition of stability, the angle must increase with radius of rotation of ball. That means phi must increase with increase in radius of rotation of the ball as shown in the figure. In other words, the equilibrium speed increases with radius of rotation of ball. For governor to be more sensitive, the change in the value of phi over the change in the radius of rotation should be as small as possible. For isochronous governor, the controlling force curve is straight line passing through origin. The angle phi is constant for all radius of rotation of governor. So, tan phi is equal to Fc upon R, putting the value of Fc m r omega square divided by r, we will get 2 pi n upon 60 bracket square, which is equal to c into n square, where c is equal to m multiplied by in bracket 2 pi n upon 60 bracket square, where c is a constant. Using above relation, the angle phi may be determined for different values of n and the lines are drawn from the origin. These lines enables the equilibrium speed corresponding to given radius of rotation to be determined. References This material is referred from a book of theory of machine by Aves Kurmi.